Cat Manchester is a two-day event that brings people together to get information, inspiration and meet other people to plan practical action to go out into the community and make a more resourceful and resilient Greater Manchester. So it's about like connecting with your community, trying to think about uh, what problems exist and what solutions you might be able to configure yourself or with other people here in the room or outside the room uh, to, to make your community a better place. I think it's really important now because we are facing a lot of challenges and there are a lot of committed and motivated people in Manchester but they're not all talking to each other and I think um, to get them more connected, to get people working together um, is more likely um, to make change happen, to make a difference um, and yeah, see some, see some real positive new ideas and new things actually taking shape. It doesn't have to be particularly connected to any um, agenda, it doesn't have to have any particular type of solution, um, technology might be a part of it but it doesn't have to be so we're really just thinking creatively, connecting people and um, seeing what happens when you get people together. What I wanted to say this morning I suppose is that people are one of our most important resources and when money's tight I think ideas, innovation, new ways of thinking are more important than ever. We've got to make the most of the limited resources we have and new ideas, new ways of thinking, people talking about what they want to see for their city are really important to help us create Manchester as an innovative radical city. What I've been talking about is the whole thing around disability and digital access and how you use pesky people as a blogging campaign to get things to change. So basically a blog goes up about a particular issue, we contact the company concerned and usually within a couple of days they respond and sort it out. The whole thing what we're talking about with Gorgini is it's like the next step of you've got all the access information in one place but how do you match what a company says here and what the customer says here and how they meet in the middle and the whole other thing around collaborative consumption so about crowdsourcing that info and then, then people like councils will be able to use it as a way of auditing their facilities and also sharing and building knowledge and stuff so we had a bit of a conversation mostly about access. Cities face unprecedented challenges, climate change, peak oil, peak water, ageing, demographics, economic turbulence. Our cities are sometimes not resilient to these changes, to these challenges. What we need to do is rethink cities, have a new paradigm for cities. That means we need to look at cities differently. And that is about looking at the connections and the assets and the capitals within cities. My name is Paul Clark and I'm the director of the Pop-Up Farm Project, which is a really simple community farming idea. And what we do is we think about spaces and then we make them into interesting places. Coming to this event is great fun because there's hundreds of people here that are really, really up for a different way of thinking about the way in which we imagine our city, what we could do next with it, how we build our communities to, to, to come to terms with major changes and challenges, and how we generate new work, how we sort of build new businesses through perhaps a, bit, a different relationship between the urban space and the rural. And those are the sorts of things that our pop-up project is in, equally interested in and experimenting with, not just in Manchester, but all over the planet. So it's a lovely example of a global to local connection and it's great to be here. So I, I'm down here today at City Camp to uh, present the Moss Cider project, which is uh, why well, the, the name's there. It's, we're in Moss Side, we make cider in Moss Side. Uh, so yeah, we're down here today really to uh, network with people, find Apple donors, hopefully, um, hear about uh, other inspiring projects around the city, see if there's any links, and it seems so far that there, there really are uh, projects that um, have even been talking about us in their talks as well, which is really uh, a nice compliment. I think I would like a few projects that, that emerge from City Camp that will sustain themselves after and into the long, short to long term. Um, you know, we really don't want City Camp to be just a two-day talk shop. We want it to actually have practical outcomes. We want people to be, to people who have made connections here or who are already connected with each other, to um, use that connection to um, actually make a difference and to take action together in their communities. <laughs>